Hello students, this is Coach Alex. I um, hope you all are doing well. We're going to continue working through the book Bobby Fischer's Outrageous Chess Moves. I'll be showing you five more positions from five of his games and you'll try to guess the answer. So this first example was Paul Karras versus Fisher in Bled 1959 and this is actually a mate in one. So pause the video now to try to figure out the answer. And the answer is queen to e5 mate. So this is a nice little mate. The two pieces here are covering the escape squares and the queen is able to cover all the other squares. This next one is Fisher versus Arthur Bigiswir in Poughkeepsie in 1963. Pause the video now to find the answer. And the answer is Queen to E Bishop to E5. So basically the idea is that when the bishop was here, this rook is X-raying the knight on F5. Once the bishop get, moves out of the way, then there would be a double attack on the bish on the knight. Because right now, this bishop is pinning the knight to the queen. And once you get a pin, it's a good idea to attack the pin piece again. So once the bishop moves out of the way, then you get this rook attacking the knight as well. So black moves rook to e8, and then instead of capturing with the bishop, white capture instead of capturing with the bishop, white captures with the rook. And the idea is to protect this bishop here. So once the rook captures here, then you get this discovered attack on the queen. So once the queen moves out of the way, then you get mate. This next position is from Fisher versus Osborne in Davis, California, 1964. Pause to find the answer. And the answer is rook captures g4. And the idea is to cement, cement the black king with this pawn into this. So he's surrounded by all these pawns. He can't really get out. There's nowhere for him to move. The king is covering these squares. So once the queen moves to d3, then she's, the idea is to move to f1 and checkmate the king. This next position is from Fisher Enrique Mech in Mecking, 1970. Pause to find the answer. And the answer is queen captures g7. And the idea is once the queen recaptures on g7, then you have this nice intermediate move with rook captures f6. So more than just winning a pawn, what white's intention is, is to destroy the defense around the black king. So once the white recapture or black recaptures, then the enemy king is exposed a lot more. And this final position is between Paul Karras and Fisher in 1959. So you can pause to find the answer now. And the answer is queen to d5 with this double attack on the bishop and the rook. Okay, so once the bishop moves to capture the rook, then you get when the rook here with check on the king. The king only has only one square to go to. King to e2. And then instead of moving the queen out of the way, you have an even better move with rook captures e8 check. Once the king moves here, so there's a double attack now. The king is attacking the bishop and the rook is attacking the queen. So instead of losing the bishop by moving the queen, 
you can move the bishop here to e1. Now it's protected twice. So now the queen is free to move, and the rook is still protecting the bishop. And you keep all your pieces. So in this game, Fisher shows mastery of harmonious manipulation of his pieces. Okay, and that's it for this lesson today. I hope you enjoyed, and take care.